Okay, so for shampooing a patient, I would run through my ABCs and everything. Then, I would explain the procedures to the patient. Um, all patients are different. You know, there's some patients who prefer to shampoo um, twice a week, three times a week. I would, you know, make sure we have a patient care plan and I would follow that according to what the patient um, desires, their preferences and everything. Um, I would ensure the patient's privacy. Obviously, make sure the patient wants, you know, they want to get their hair shampooed. Um, I would ensure that the bed is at the correct working height for me. Um, I would decontaminate my hands and I would remove the patient's clothes from their upper body. Cover them with a sheet. Remove the pillows from behind the patient's bed so that their head is lying flat. This would allow the water to drain away from their eyes and ears during the procedure. And then I would remove the head of the bed to access the patient's hair easily. I would place a, a plastic sheet under the patient's head. And um, I would wrap a towel around their shoulders. Position, I would position the patient's head on the shampoo tray. And I would follow the shampoo tray manufacturer's instructions. For example, if they wanted me to like add a towel to the tray or, or whatever. Um, and then I would fill it with warm water, but not hot water because I don't want to burn the patient. And I would begin applying the shampoo, massaging the hair. I would use a jug and I would rinse the patient's hair with water. Apply conditioner if the patient requests it, rinse again. And um, I would check regularly to make sure that the patient is comfortable um, I'm going to be paying attention to the skin, the folds around the neck. Um, I would change any um, bed linens that got wet, and I would put them in the soil um, immediately. I would replace the bed head. I would help the patient get dressed, and I would style the patient's hair according to their preference. Um, I would remove and dispose of the, my apron, the shampoo tray, and everything according to policy. I would record that the care has been given, I would report any abnormal findings, and I would update the patient's care plan if it was required by the facility.